What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 video. Today's gonna be less of a serious video and more of a funny haha video, you know? Basically, what happened is yesterday I got bored and I was just like, hey, I want to use Doug Trio. What can Doug Trio do in this format? I'm like, alright, well, its main thing is Arena Trap, right? It's only like it and... What is it? Trap Pinch that get Arena Trap? And I thought, alright, well, it's got a decent speed stat, and it technically is good versus Asian. If you run a Sash on it, you can, you know, maybe secure a KO if it's, like, got some chip damage on it. Uh, so I came up with this idea, right? So we're running a Focus Sash Doug Trio with Arena Trap, Protect, High Horsepower, Screech, and Sunny Day uh, on a Groudon Eveltal team. Because basically, if we can get rid of a uh, Zacian, either through virtue of picking up like a Sneaky KO with High Horsepower, or trapping it in there with an Incineroar or a Groudon, uh, then, you know, we get rid of that, and then all of a sudden, the other team member typically doesn't do well versus Eveltal, because it's usually something like, I don't know, like a, like an opposing uh, Groudon or Kyogre, or even like a Palkia doesn't do amazing versus Assault Vest Eveltal. So that's the basic gist of the team. I'll get into some further details in a second. But if you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. What do you think is the best ground type as of generation like one? Like from generation one, what's your favorite ground type? There are quite a few and most of them are like half rock type, but I've always loved Doug Trio. Sand Slash is also pretty cool, but Doug Trio has been my guy for like what is it? How long has it been since Gen 1? Like 20-something years. I'm only 22, so. But yeah, um, I guess let's go ahead and get into this. If you enjoy, leave a like, whatever. Check out my Discord, check out my Patreon, and let's uh, talk about the team. So Doug Trio, of course, is running that Focus Sash set. Um, it's got 120 speed, so it can outspeed things like the Genies, um, and that's pretty much like the speed tier that matters the most. I could technically reduce the speed, uh, but I thought about it, and I'm like, there's literally no point in hitting 180 to outspeed the Genies and then putting the rest in HP. Like, it literally lets me survive nothing else uh, with this thing's absolutely garbage defenses. So it's mainly meant to just stall out a couple of turns um, by forcing the opponent to not be able to switch due to Arena Trap and Protect. Uh, we have a bulky G-Max Venusaur here. Uh, we're able to outspeed Regieleki in the sun, and also we're able to take a Behemoth Blade from Zacian uh, pretty easily, even if it's not intimidated, like, what is it, like 60% of the time, the other 30% or something, or the other like 36% we get knocked out. Uh, we have a White Herb Groudon, because if they end up leading off with Zacian plus a Incineroar, then what we're able to do is ignore the Intimidate drop and go for an immediate one-shot on both of them. Because basically all we do is we protect with both Pokemon turn one, and then on the next turn we go for the P-Blades in a high horsepower, and that will actually like guarantee that we either get a KO on the Incineroar or the Zacian. So that's really, really nice. Yveltal is just running a general bulky set. Um, we have enough speed, we're at plus one after a max airstream, we outspeed uh, Calyrex Shadow and Zacian, and the rest is just put into uh, bulk so we can live hits with our Assault Vest. We have Safety Goggles and Cinero, just a standard set, and I originally had a Thunderous on this team to uh, keep people from going for like Intimidate cycling, and then I realized they can't switch as easily because of Doug Trio, and also we are really weak to Calyrex Shadow, or Calyrex Ice, I mean. Uh, so I put a physically defensive bronze on here with Trick Room, Hypnosis, Gyro Ball, and Body Press. Uh, we obviously take that to the Calyrex Ice matchup because we hard wallet. Even at plus two, this thing doesn't two shot us, especially with Leftovers Recovery. And we can go for like cheesy hypnosises or just Body Press things. I originally ran Iron Defense on this guy, but then I said, eh, maybe not. A Gyro Ball is just generally good, so we don't have to only be, you know, useful if we set up a lot. So yeah, it's a three shot against Zacian, and we hard wall Zacian, so that's really nice. But yeah, this team basically is just a big middle finger to Zacian, <laughs> which is really dumb. Obviously, this is meant to be played on low ladder. I don't know if it could be viable at high ladder if someone were to really get good with it. But um, I've only gotten like six games with it and I've like it's 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 won every single game so far. Uh, but that's always been on low ladder. That's why we're also on the alternate account. So, you know, if you ever see boxy moosed, get ready for some cheese and not anything that great. But let's go ahead and grab a game. It's already been like five minutes. As we see a Groudon and Zacian team, uh, actually, you know, versus this, there's not too much of a reason not to lead off with Groudon and Dugtrio. Uh, of course, there is a Venusaur on the other side of the field, uh, but I could trap the Venusaur in with Niveltal if I really wanted to. Um, I also don't want to lead off with uh, Incineroar because I could give that Thunderous everything it needs to win. A Trick Room wouldn't be bad either for me. 
So I'm thinking maybe what I can do is... Hmm. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. Um, I don't lead off with the incineroar here strictly because I don't want to give the... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to give the thunderous a plus one. But I definitely bring Bronzong on lead, try to get that trick room off. I think we might have to leave Dugtrio at home in this game. This is like, I don't know, like Groudon plus... It, it's mainly just like he has like two flying Pokemon, two Pokemon that don't touch the ground, so the Dugtrio could just be dead weight in this game. And I also don't want to lead off Dugtrio in Groudon versus a, a Venusaur, so that's uh, something we have to take note of. Uh, let me think. Hmm. Okay. So I think I go Bronzong, Groudon, Incineroar, and my last Mon's going to be Eveltal. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's it's just a very neutral lead versus my opponent. Uh, I don't give him anything immediately. Like, yeah, so if I let off Dugtrio there, it literally would have done nothing for me. Uh, here, I can assume he's just going to go for a dark move into the Bronzong. I don't anticipate my opponents going for a Dynamax with the Thunderous. He probably just wants to Dynamax the, uh, <laughs> the Hydreigon here. Uh, but I don't eat like anything from that. Hydreigon's really odd to see, so yeah, I'm not too happy we're facing it, but I suppose it just is how it is. Uh, we'll go into the Evelta here to hopefully eat the hit, and I suppose the best thing I could do in this situation is I kind of have to Dynamax my Groudon and get rid of that Thunderous um, to make my job a little bit easier. Because he can't intimidate me, and he doesn't have many switch-ins to a max Rockfall. I suppose like Yazation can come in, but beyond that... I don't really see the Groudon coming in in this in this matchup right here, or at least in the, in this position. So we can maybe secure a KO on the Thunderous. Let's see. Uh, no, no Dynamax. He goes for a Taunt. Dark Pulse. Yeah, that's fine. I get a free KO on the Thundy here. Unless it's bulky, which, yeah, no, it's not. I was gonna say if it's if it's like decently physically defensive, then maybe not because um, it was running Taunt, which means it's probably just Prankster and not Defiant. And there's the Suicune. Uh, yeah, no, I can go for Snarl, like, for free here now. And I can start quaking the Suicune. I'm not terribly scared of Hydreigon since I have my, uh, <laughs> since I have my Eveltal here, which just hard walls it. Obviously, they can Tailwind here, but, um, yeah, there's, I'm not terribly scared of it at this point. I will say, he did a decent chunk of damage for a Dark Pulse. There's the Wormwind, that's fine. We're mostly just going for... Uh, like just decent little chunks of damage and stopping him from getting a KO on my Eveltal here. There's the Scald. That's fine. Don't burn me. Awesome. Poggers, in fact. And here, um, I mean, I am faster than the Suicune. I could just go for a... How much did my Snarl do last time? Because I could risk the miss and just try to KO it, but I could also just go for like an Oblivion Wing. Snarl did 18% to the Suicune, so that's, that's well within range of KOing it. I'm willing to go for it. I don't think there's too much of an issue with that, and I just go for the max guard here, because uh, there's really no reason to give him any damage against me. Yep. And we get the KO. And now, we get to play everyone's favorite game, the Intimidate Cycle game. Uh, so, also Bronzong is just going to be really nice. I want to keep my Groudon healthy for this. If he has Swords Dance, this could be a little bit annoying, but I think my play here is just to try to get a, a Trick Room off with Bronzong. Uh... Most likely, he's just going to go for a play rough onto the Veltal and a max dark onto the uh, Groudon. So I always go for this switch combination. I don't really mind losing my special defense boost because it's like useless here. <laughs> Alright, there's the Intimidate. Let's see if he... Yep, okay, Behemoth Blade. Interesting. Maybe he got it right. No, he didn't. He didn't commit to one, uh, so it's fine. That Hydreigon's still at, you know, minus two. And here, uh, I think I hand over my Eveltal. It's not terribly useful. And he shouldn't be able to KO my Bronzong here at minus... Is he able to? I mean, I do get a fake out. Yeah, I mean, I always just go for Trick Room here. Uh, and I always fake out the Hydreigon. Is he close combat? So that's fine. And now I'm at a pretty decent position. Because I'm not scared of Hydreigon, Zacian should be terrified of me, and I can just go for a... I guess I just body press this Hydreigon here, and press his blades. 
That's fine. Uh, I don't know if body press can... It does, yeah. I was going to say he's, <laughs> he's... He's he's not taking that pretty well. And there's game. Nice. GG to my opponent. I really want to get, like, a good Doug Trio game, though. Like, that's, that's the main thing here. Like, guys, we might win a couple, but I didn't expect to, I'm, I'm not going into this expecting to win every single game. I'm going to, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I'm going into this expecting to maybe get two or three, like max. This is mainly meant to just show off a little meme. Uh, so here, this is actually not terrible for Dougie. <laughs> yeah, no, this isn't that bad for Dougie because if we go Dougie Grout on here, um, and he leads off with Kyogre, he's stuck in there versus, uh, Groudon, who usually gets the sun up in that situation. Uh, I could also go Venusaur here. Yeah, I think Venusaur is ideal. And my last Mon, uh, Eveltal is probably actually still fine. We have to get rid of that Regieleki though. But if he ends up leading off Regieleki versus Dougie Groudon, he just loses the Aleki every time unless it's Max Strike. So that's that's fine. I think we do this. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we didn't trap the Thundee, but that's fine because Thundee isn't terribly scary. I think what I want to do here is, I really hope he's not like lagging tail. He's probably just dual screens, to be honest. I'm going to go for a protector. I don't think Thundee ever Dynamaxes in this situation. He probably wants to Dynamax the Kyogre, if anything. Uh, and I'm going to Swords Dance. Oh, he does Dynamax. Okay, is it in the Dougie? That, that'd be fine, honestly. Fake out. Oh, he wants to, he wants to make sure he, that I don't trap anything. He's like, no, you're not trapping me today, bud. Uh, but I disagree. I, I think I'll be trapping things for quite a while. So I'm going to go into my Eveltal here, and I'm going to go ahead and go for my Max Rockfall on the Thundee. If he goes for a Light Screen, that's fine, I suppose. Or not Light Screen. If he goes for a Reflect, I suppose that's fine. I think I might still pick up the KO. It depends on how bulky he is. I am at plus two. I mean, it's... oh, he tricked me a full incense. I think that's fine. <laughs> He didn't light screen, he's just full support. Yeah. And now I have Sucker Punch versus this Kyogre, and it can't Dynamax versus me, so I always just go for Sucker Punch. Oh wait, do I have Sucker Punch? Am I stupid? Did I not, did I not put that on this guy? I didn't. No, I'm just full support. You idiot, Marcos. You dummy. Dummy dum dum. Um... Well, yeah, now I suppose this isn't the best of situations, so, you know, that's that's a thing. Uh, I think what I can do here is... I definitely want my sun up, so I think I keep the grout on. And I'm willing to... Uh, I'm willing to sack the Dougie here. To get out my grout on, I think. And since there's likely a Zacian in the back, I think I give him Veltal. I mean, yeah, I can try to Snarl. But I definitely need to do this. And if he has Thunder Wave, then that's going to be annoying. But I don't think you have Trick and Thunder Wave. Yeah, he's fake tears. I guess, uh, yeah, no. Because your last move's got to be Spirit Break, dude. Like, it has to be. Anyways, uh, here is where I call the Zacian coming in. Do I do that? I mean, <laughs> I want to call the Zacian coming in really bad. We don't know if he's Scarf. Uh, if he is Scarf, he, he doesn't stay in here. He goes into Zacian. I think I I want to go for the Weather Ball plus P Blades play. And if the Zacian doesn't come in, I kind of lose. What? Let's go for it. Let's go! <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Trick? I don't care. I think this still KOs. Yeah, baby! Oh, you know what? Actually, he can... You can probably... Yeah, no, he probably just, he probably just beats me if I, now that I think about it. I guess it depends. Um... It, it depends if, if he goes for, like, a fake tears here or if he's, like, you know. Oh, uh, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think fake tears water spout wins him the game here. I mean, I still just... Oh, yo? I didn't lose yet? Oh, yeah, I forgot. He gave me a white herb. You idiot. You did this. KO, please. It didn't KO. I lose. <laughs> oh, man. I mean... I probably just lose, yeah. Actually, does he even have an attacking move? I suppose I can always go for another Leaf Storm. Yo? Yo? Okay, this comes down to a crit, basically. Um, he's, like, entirely nerfed me into the ground. Unless, I mean, yeah, he does have Spear Break, so the next one would KO. Also, he's just faster than me because of plus two. <laughs> Dang it, man. Okay, yeah, that was interesting. That was an interesting match. 
So Dougie didn't do too much that game because of the Thundee lead, but I think, you know, we sort of forced his hand in a couple situations. Uh, let me think here. He's got a couple of Pokemon that don't get trapped by Dougie. Um, a lot of them are pretty annoying as well. I think here... I, I think here I'm fine leading off Doug Trio Groudon. Um, because what I can do actually is I can really mess up his... Uh, I can really mess up his Amoongus if he wants to go with that. Because I can go for the Screech with my Doug Trio and Max Quake into it and that should KO. I also probably want to bring my Eveltal to this game. And I think my last one has to be Incin. Okay, yeah. That's what I expected. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the Screech play. We're going to hope that he's not Focus Sash, and if he is, uh, we, we just kind of cry. Because I'm pretty sure this should KO. I mean, Amoongus is stuck here, so... Rage Powder, that's fine. Nice, okay. He can Sword Dance, I don't mind. Give me that. We still have our Sash. Zacian Crowned. Um, he has to double into my Groudon to really do anything here. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to protect and... No, he, yeah, he has to double the Groudon here. So I'm going to go into my Incinero here and I can attempt to get a K with the Groudon. Or maybe... Actually, no. Yeah, I go Incinero here and I'm going to max guard. Because he's going to Dynamax, I figured. I max guard. Behemoth Blade, he has to also Airstream. Yeah. And now... Now what I do is I call him thinking I, I'm going to fake out the Zacian, right? So he wants to get rid of this Incineroar. So what I do now is I, I just absolutely nay nay on him by um, predicting him to predict that. And I go for the Dougie on the Incin, and I can attempt to Quake the Satian now. There it is. Yeah, and I keep it. And Zacian's not going to like the damage it takes here. Nice. And now, I go right back into the Incineroar, and I protect. I could also just be blade I think he has to, he has to get rid he has to target the Doug trio with at least one of my poke or really with at least one of his Pokemon here uh, to prevent losing Zacian every single time because I can just high horsepower obviously so I go in Cinnaroar and I think I just P blades to get rid of Zacian substitute that's fine because he just airstream there as long as I connect this we're good nice okay so now what I want to do is, I'm going to Parting Shot, no, no, I don't do that, because he can just Earthquake. I'm going to go Eveltal and Protect, yeah, and he's going to Earthquake here, and I'm in a pretty good spot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, here I just go for a, I want to predict a Swords Dance, I really do. I really want to predict the Swords Dance, but I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I suppose I can just Foul Play. And go Incineroar. Because if he does Swords Dance, this still does a lot. And I think a Swords Dance would make sense in this situation. Because he's not terribly scared of Groudon. And he wants... He does, he's incentivized not to switch because he still has plus one, plus one. And this will put him in a real rough spot. Let me turn on the timer too. I haven't done that yet. Did I say GLHF? I never did. I feel bad. It's a little late for that. Earthquake, that's fine. This will still do a decent chunk. And I get fake out pressure next turn. Oh yeah, baby. So here I'm going to go ahead and snarl. Um, he shouldn't have Protect. I want to say his last move is like going to be Max... Not a Max Airstream. Uh, I feel like his last move is going to be um, Rock Slide. But... Um, 
I think I snarl here. And I should just hand over Doug Trio because I can beat the Zacian if I hold on to my Incineroar. That's fine. Oh, yo, and I keep the Dougie. All right. So, uh, Zacian doesn't switch in on a foul play. And this foul play always KOs Lander from this uh, from this range, I think. How much did my first foul play do? Foul play, foul play, 56. Yeah, at minus one, it does 56. This will KO. And I protect. All right, that's fine, too. Um, so my next foul play won't KO now, so I'm in Oblivion Wing, and I'm going to go into my Incineroar. Because he should always just snarl here. Oh, he misses. Poggers. And I'm going to get a little bit of health back. He does have Protect. That's something to note. Um, so he should be calling this. I'm going to Snarl again and fake out the Eveltal. I don't think you have a Earthquakes here. He should always Protect. Actually, no, I should always just foul play to be safe. Yeah, because now I get the Zacian. I think this KOs? I mean, it's a Zacian, dude. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I want to say that's probably game. Because I always just... Um... His last move is Protect, so obviously he has to go for a fly here. I can give him the Dougie now. Dougie's pretty much useless to me, and I want to keep my Incinera around. So what I do is I go for the foul play into the Landorus, expecting him to just fly. But if he swords dances, this just catches him anyway. And yeah, he just forfeits. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you can... The, the Doug Trio positioning is what is just super fun about this team. Like, just keeping Doug Trio on the field where it's like, yeah, no, you're not switching versus me. Nah, you're staying on the field. Uh, this is a pretty decent Doug Trio game, I would say. Uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. But I think, I mean, we've already got two wins for today, and we're already 20 minutes in. All these battles have been really long. Have we, has it been two? Or did I, did I get one? Or like, or did I only, I, I, why am I thinking, did I like lose one, or did I, I literally can't remember how many games I played, because I've just been focusing that bad. Um, let me think. So, I can, I'm going to bring the Doug Trio regardless, literally just because it's, this is going to be the last game I record. So, kind of got to. Uh, so I'm gonna do Doug Trio and I think Doug Trio and Eveltal isn't terrible, but Doug Trio and Venusaur is also super super nice. I want to say they just want to go for Trick Room. So I'm gonna do this: Venusaur, Groudon, and Eveltal. Okay, yeah. Likely they're just gonna max Airstream and Fake Out. I don't see them ever going for a Max Lightning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Eveltal here for my Venusaur, and I'm going to protect on my Dougie. Because they should always Max Airstream, Eveltal. And I should take it. That's fine. And now, um, I call the second move. This should be a max lightning, I think, to prevent me from being annoying in the end game. I think what I'm going to do here is I go into my Groudon on the max lightning and get Venusaur in for the Duck Trio. No. No, I don't do that. I think what I do is I... I'm going to Screech the Zapdos and I get this in on the max lightning. Oh, he just max air streamed. I guess that's fine if I get this off, but he might just KO the Dougie. All right, yeah, and now that's within max rockfall range. Yeah, especially because of the, the white herb helping us out there. Palkia. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is what's known as a pro gamer move. He's going to max air stream and go for probably a trick room. One would assume that he KOs the Doug Trio here. 
but I also have no reason to keep the Doug Trio around beyond going for this play. Like, I, this is the last turn Doug Trio will be useful for me. So I'm going to go for it. Hopefully he just airstreams the Groudon. Yo. Yo. Yo, come on, land. Yes, get off the field. Okay. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if we win this game anymore. I think we're in a losing position, but it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> we won the game by doing that. In spirit, we won the game. Uh, yeah, no, we lose. <laughs> I mean, it depends. It depends if the Zapdos wants to stay in here. Um, yeah, if Zapdos switches out, maybe I can, like, win with Venusaur Cheese. Because he's he's got to have, like, Max Flare on this team, right? Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attempt to High Horsepower the Zacian and Max Guard, and then I can get him my Venusaur the next turn. He's got Weather Ball. Ooh, yeah, we lose. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that's a loss. Um, let me think. I mean, yeah, the Weather Ball just straight up one-shots us. And Behemoth Blade always KOs. Unless he's running a really bad set and somehow we, like, manage to survive by being faster. Like, if he's super, super bulky, there is a chance we're faster. Because I am running Timid. Nah, okay. GG. GG. So, what is it? We won two and lost one. This was like, we got like a very small amount of battles in this video because of how how much pivoting has to be done for Doug Trio to be any good. I will say, in, in my opinion, Doug Trio is viable with like an asterisk next to it. It's, it's, it's viable in the sense that if you, you know, really believe in yourself and click your heels together, uh, then yeah, you know, you can make it work. Uh, it has this little niche of arena trap. Uh, that can make it like really nasty in the face of quite a few Pokemon like Zacian. We didn't get to trap a Zacian today, I think, but we did um, We did manage to use Screech support uh, to make a lot of things more scary on the team. We didn't face a Calyrex Ice, which is probably this team's worst matchup, but it kind of gets patched up by Bronzong. Um, and above all else, you know, Groudon and Eveltal are just like a super solid combo. So I think doubling up on the ground types is bad, but overall, like with, with Sunny Day support, you can make Groudon really hard to KO, especially with all this bulk on it. So if you guys want to use this team, as always, it will be in my uh, Discord link down below. If you want access to extra videos such as Patreon content, go ahead and check out the link to that. I'm also live streaming tonight at 5 p.m. CST, so tune in for that. Um, I'd really appreciate it. We're getting really close to partnership, so if you guys want to support me, I would need to hit like an average of 70 viewers every stream for like a month. So yeah, have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.